The culinary landscape off there are mountains on the border with Mozambique, savannas in the east, and rainforest in the northwest. There are several rivers, including the Great Yusufu River. Regions are the Lubombo, Highveld, Middleveld, and Lowveld. King Sapusa I was the first ruler of independent Eswatini, formerly Swaziland. He was born on July at Zambadu, the British Protectorate of Swaziland. On September, the infant was named out on Sasasasaran. December, his father died at the age of during the Nkwala First Fruits Festival. He ascended to the throne as Sapusa I at the age of months. A queen regent, his grandmother, Labat Sabini, ruled during his infancy and childhood. The young king attended the Swazi National School as a child. He later attended the Lovedale Institute in South Africa for Sabhusa I was installed in Africa. During the colonial period written, at the time come in Southern Africa, Africa played a mostly ceremonial role and was revered as the traditional head of the Swazi nation. In preparation for Swazi independence in the late, as the British hoped to create a parliamentary system with a constitutional monarchy in Swaziland, Sobhusa I was opposed to this idea. He and several of his prominent supporters formed a political advo national movement, which won all parliamentary seats in the richer, providing a new insipaturature, providing perspectives, and the intricate nuances that define the nation's collective consciousness. Woodsmanship emerges as a source of national pride, with athletic endeavors becoming a reflection of the nation's competitive spirit. From the prowess displayed on international stages to grass form where the ethos of discipline, teamwork, and perseverance intertwines with the pride of representing the nation on a global scale. It pertains to the spaces. Civic architecture in Eswatini transcends mere physical structures. It encompasses the creation of community spaces that foster social cohesion. From town halls to community centers, these spaces become forums for civic engagement, dialogue, and the collective shaping of local narratives. Civic architecture becomes a tangible expression of the nation's commission of Eswatini's developmental ethos, of heritage's development of relationships ensuring that the tapestry of tradition remains intact for future generations. Museums, cultural institutions, and initiatives aimed at safeguarding intangible heritage collectively contribute to a narrative where the past is not merely remembered but actively preserved as a living testament to the nation's roots. Financial inclusion and economic empowerment. empowerment. Eswatini's economic lens initiatives, from microfinance initiatives to policies that promote perfalic growth, the nation's financial strategies envision a landscape where prosperity is not confined to select sectors but is accessible to a broader spectrum of the population. 
Holistic Health Care and Wellness Initiatives The health care narrative in Eswatini extends beyond conventional medical frameworks, embracing holistic wellness initiatives. Traditional healing practices on preventative health care and community engagement reflect their Ralphstray. Health is not merely the absence of illness, but a holistic state of well-being. Technological Inclusivity and Digital Literacy Technological inclusivity becomes a focal point in Eswatini's vision for the future, where digital literacy is viewed as a tool for empowerment. From initiatives that bridge the digital divide to educational promise for the benefit of all, ensuring that the digital age are inclusive and accessible. And digital accessible. Civic responsibility, the culinary landscape of Eswatini, becomes a canvas for gastronomic exploration where traditional flavors intertwine with contemporary influences. Reflecting not only the richness of local ingredients, but also the nation's openness to global gastronomic trends. From traditional feasts to innovative culinary expressions, the dining experience a sustainable citizenship, sustainable city, societal narrative where sustainable citizenship is not merely a concept but a lived reality. From environmental consciousness to community, driven initiatives, the nation's citizens actively participate in shaping a sustainable future. Civic engagement becomes a reflection of the collective responsibility towards the well-being of the nation and the broader global community to the fabric of Eswatini's societal tapestry play a pivotal role in shaping the values and ethos passed down through generations. The intergenerational exchange becomes a dynamic dialogue where the timeless wisdom of the past converges with the aspirations of the future, creating a continuum of cultural resilience. Cross border collaborations, and regional synergy. Eswatini's engagements on the regional synergy. The nation actively participates in regional dialogues, contributing to jail dialogues, challenges, and fostering mutual growth. Border collaborations become a reflection of Eswatini's commitment to global dialogue, cultural exchange platforms and global dialogue. Cultural exchange platforms emerge as bridges connecting Eswatini to the global dialogue on diversity and mutual understanding. From artistic showcases to collaborative cultural events, these platforms become spamity community converges with the local local cultures that transcend geographical boundaries and contribute to a richer, more interconnected world. Inclusive education and lifelong learning. In the realm of education, Eswatini envisions a landscape where inclusive education and lifelong learning are not just aspirations, but integral components of the national ethos. Educational initiatives cater to diverse learning needs both on journey 
contributing to a society where Kutha Law Lichpu's pathway to individual and collective progress. Humanitarian Initiatives and Global Solidarity Humanitarian initiatives become a cornerstone of Eswatini's global engagement, reflecting a commitment to global solidarity and shared responsibility. From participation in international aid efforts to initiatives addressing global challenges that defines the human experience, that defines the human experience, the defines the de interconnu experience. Virtual expression. The realm of artistic expression expands into the digital domain, where virtual platforms become canvases for creative exploration. Digital arts, encompassing everything from virtual exhibitions to online performances, become integral to Eswatini's cultural landscape rye.